Hello everyone, this is your Twin Flame reading. Welcome if you're new, and if you're not, hello. I'm wondering how you all are doing. I know there's so many intense energies this past couple of weeks, and I have also been feeling up and down. Um, I'm picking up on a lot of um, different kinds of energies and I just wanted to you know to know how you all are doing because there's so much going on you know cosmically celestially so let me know how you guys feel I hope you guys are you know in your doing your healing and I know there's a lot of purging going on so um, I wanted to talk about that briefly because um, because of everything that's going on, all this purging, there's a lot of um, childhood um, and like younger years um, trauma coming up. I'm seeing a lot um, divine feminines. Um, I've been getting a message for you specifically. There's a lot that's coming up right now, and <clears throat> I know you guys are feeling unbalanced because there's a lot of pain coming up, and y these are things that you have buried, um, whether consciously or subconsciously. Um, you have buried a lot of things, and they're coming up now for in order for you to release it okay um, I'm getting a lot of shaming coming up I'm getting a lot of childhood trauma the shaming is really strong so um, there's a lot of things I'm getting I'm getting like you were never good enough as a kid um, you were controlled by a parent that was very controlling so you feel like you have no identity. You didn't know who you were growing up. Um, and I know how hard it is because when you are growing up with a parent that's very authoritative, authoritative and um, it, it makes you feel like you're not in your own. You don't know who the true you is. So then you grow up and you don't even know who you are. So you don't, you feel like you don't even have an identity. Like, what am I doing here? Um, somebody asks you a question like, oh, would you like to do this? And you look at them like, oh, wow, somebody asked, actually asked me what I want to do. And so... I know how hard it is for you to re come to this realization that you weren't the real you growing up and how hard it is to find yourself. So I feel like some of you now are really finding yourself and knowing, like, who am I, you know? knowing who you are now and you're, you're, you're stepping into who you are and you're actually like having opinions now of your own and it's, it's, it's kind of frightening you too because you're so used to going with the flow with everybody else, your family, what they're saying or whoever, society around you and now you're coming into your own so it, it's, a, it's a little frightening for you but um, just go with it because listen to your youth. Um, it's such a beautiful feeling to know yourself, you know, and yeah, the real you is emerging. It's a beautiful, and I know it's frightening for some of you, but there's no, the fears are all in your head, okay, and just go with it. Just keep on, you know, talk to yourself, you know, and uh, 
just dive within. It's beautiful. My other twins, um, Divine Feminines, there is a lot of this other type of shaming coming up and it has a lot to do with physical attributes, okay? I'm getting so many things. I'm getting like shaming, like weight shaming, um, like you are not, you didn't have the body that, you know, what's the ideal body, what, you know, whatever in your family growing up. I feel like sibling, sibling, sibling rivalry, like, oh, you, you're not like your sister. Or, oh, you, you can't ever be like your brother. Look at them. And this kind of thing is coming up. Um, and a lot of things that have to do with looks. A lot of you have been growing up in groups that have a certain idea of what beauty is, okay? And has a lot to do with skin color, skin tone. Some of you growing up were made to feel less attractive because you weren't light enough or you didn't have the same color as what beauty is. Um, I want to bring up this example because I'm, I'm being guided to bring this up. So um, as you all can see, I'm very fair. Even this is color for me. This is color, you guys. I'm very fair. Look. I don't know if you could tell how fair I am. Um, this is color because I go hiking and um, yeah, it's color for me. <laughs> Might be funny for some of you. Um, so I'm very fair and I took after my dad who's very fair also. But my mom is dark and she grew up you know, in a society where they thought that lighter is more beautiful. And um, she went through a lot of shaming as she grew up. And um, because of that, she would tell me that when she was younger, because people would call her names because she was darker, and they would call her names and um, especially someone um, close to her, a neighbor she had. So somebody who she grew up with for years, they would call her names and um, I'm not gonna mention what it is because it's, it's, it's considered derogatory. And um, so she would, as a kid, okay, this is so sad, um, she would, she would um, She would put yogurt on her face because she thought that that would um, lighten her skin so she wouldn't be called names. And um, interesting enough, this woman who um, would call her, you know, this name, and it's It's so ironic how this is coming up and it came up again. It actually came up last week. She remembered it and she, she said it to me again. And it's something she's been dealing for for years, like God, more than 40 years. And it still hurts her. And the even more ironic thing is that that person, whoever called her that name, ended up marrying her brother, my uncle. So 
talk about forgiving someone and holding on to pain that you've experienced forever. And this goes on so much in, it goes on in African American groups, it goes on in Indian groups, it goes on in the Middle East. I mean, it goes on everywhere that a certain color or shade is more beautiful than the other. And this is all BS because on earth here, we created this dualistic environment where one thing is better than the other. It's either black or white, or it's either this or that. It's either good or bad, right or wrong. And as people who judge what beauty is, um, like this is beautiful, this is ugly or whatever, um, we are falling prey to this, this dualistic, you know, consciousness that we're, you know, we've been encompassing for such a long time. And th the only place this happens is on earth. I mean, in other places, in other, you know, dimensions and other, you know, in the stars, other planets, everybody looks the same. So fortunately, we do live in a dualistic environment, but that doesn't mean we have to operate in duality consciousness. So I just want to tell you all that You are beautiful regardless of what you look like. And whoever can't see that, your beauty comes from here. And whoever doesn't see that, that's their problem. Okay? So now you are releasing all that stuff. So all that stuff is coming up. Um, I'm going through the same thing, like shame is coming up. For me, I was an early bloomer and I was always told to like hide, you know, my chest because it's big and everybody could see it and um, I couldn't wear certain things. Um, there was times where, I, and I didn't understand. And there's times where I got home, sent home from school because I was wearing a tank top, but everybody else wasn't being sent home from school, but I was being sent home because um, I was, you know, you know, I have, I have a big chest. So, um, and it was always something or it was at work or it was always like violating dress code. Um, there's other things coming up like, um, I'm tall and I would always get people who would be mad at me for wearing heels. So it was like, oh, you're wearing heels. Um, don't stand next to me. You're making me look shorter than you look. I mean, than I look and, um, whatever. And, um, a lot of people are like, why are you wearing heels? You're tall, you know? So other things like, um, oh, and with the whole, um, thing, um, like wearing a skirt, um, when I wear a skirt, everybody thinks it's a mini skirt because I'm tall. So, um, yeah, I've gotten in trouble a lot. So and all these things were coming up and you guys have to realize that th th these are all people's insecurities and um, and their perception because I mean I just think it's ridiculous because why would you hide something you know and who's to say how much you should hide or not um, it's ridiculous, but all these things are coming up, you guys, like feeling like you weren't good enough, um, 
also things that are coming up are like financial troubles as as you know when you were a kid um growing up feeling like you didn't have enough and the kids around you did and how come this person can have this and i couldn't and so there was a lot of blame i'm gonna say that you blamed your family for for not having enough and um but i feel like with the releasing of this you're coming out of that you're coming out of that you know poverty consciousness and it's good so i know it feels like crap right now you guys i know all these things are coming up you know and you feel a lot of pain and you're very emotional but you feel unbalanced at times um i'm just seeing someone walking on what is that a tightrope like what trapeze artists do, like they're trying to juggle. Um, so I know how you feel unbalanced right now. And this is coming up because all these things need to be swiped out. Released, feel it, of course, feel it. And think to yourself, release that. And then think how you could replace that with another belief, idea, thought, because you are your thoughts. They start with thoughts and then they go into beliefs and programming. So whatever you're feeling, heal it with the opposite intention. Okay. So put an intention to it. You want to heal this. You need help. You don't know how to do it. Ask for help. Ask your higher self, your guides. They're always there to help you grow. Always. And you're, you're going to be good, you guys. I promise you. So if you're going through any of those things, I just want to remind you that you're beautiful. Regardless of what anyone says. Um, I feel divine feminines that you all are like with all these energies and you feel a disconnect with divine masculine but at the same time you all you guys are getting telepathic connection that you keep questioning um feeling your divine masculine like when you go to bed at night or when you wake up feeling them um dreaming about them because they are also dreaming of you a lot of them and they're trying to communicate with you and through different things like songs um you feel them like you feel them holding you um any of you are getting that yeah they're dreaming of you i'm getting the song Dreaming of you. I keep hearing that song. Dreaming of you by Selena. R.I.P. Selena. Um, in the song, it talks about how someone is dreaming of the other and that's all they want to do because they know that they can't be together physically so he's dreaming of her and that's the only place he wants to be in the world just dreaming of her and the other thing it brings up um is him telling her how he wants to tell her he loves her and some of you who haven't heard that from your divine masculines um that's a message that they want to build up the courage to tell you they love you if they haven't said it before they haven't expressed their feelings to you know that they do love you and they want to express that to you but at the same time some of you divine feminines haven't expressed yourself to divine masculine either so um 
I feel like both of you are learning how to express your emotions and that all comes with you know um, the ego death and transformation um, if you haven't watched my other videos please do so because these timelines always overlap um, okay so divine feminines before I go on to divine masculines there's a block that you feel blocked already I'm sure some of you feel this um, there's a block and this has to do with your uh, coming together with your divine masculines okay higher self is blocking this right now there are things that you need to release some of you are still in heartbreak mode um, and you didn't think so because you want divine I mean you want the divine masculine and you just you're just like okay I forgive him her I want to move closer to get I just want it to happen I just want us to make up and have it go good but there's certain things you still have to release um, and there's still pain that you have swept under the rug that you don't know about And I'm getting the same thing from Divine Masculine. So regardless of who did what, you have to see it from the higher higher perspective. And um, some of you feel like, like what's coming up lately is that you did, like you said something wrong or you did something wrong um, or you did it in the wrong way. Um, forgive yourselves for that. So everything happens for a reason and if whoever got triggered, whoever said what, regardless, um, you need to forgive yourself for that because everything happens the way it's supposed to. Um, this is a divine union. We all know that. And it's very protected and it's being orchestrated behind the scenes. Um, you all can't see that, but it is. And so you're being um, blocked. That's what I see, divine feminines. To the ones who are like, okay, I forgive my divine masculines, I want to get back, um, you all are being blocked. Some of you might get communication, like a text or something, um, but it's still not time to merge. So you still have work to do, and I know you don't want to hear that, but it's still there. So instead of being frustrated because this process is taking so long, and why am I blocked and blah, blah, blah. Like, don't go into that, that mode. Please, don't go into fear mode. Just think of, just ask, what is it that's blocking me? Ask your higher self. What is it that's blocking me from getting into union with my divine masculine, with my twin? And um, what can I do? Some of you don't ask and that's why you don't know ask you will get signs it will come in so many forms it will come in you know a billboard giving you the answer it will come in an animal um it will come i mean through an animal <laughs> in an animal through an animal it will come through a song like what is it you need to release you know and um it will definitely come through I promise you guys and so work on that because there's something still lingering that you need to release you guys and heal okay this is all about healing we're always healing okay so don't be mad that you're being blocked because I mean who better knows you know the highest and best for you than your higher self and guides who does you know they know what they're doing they got it all you know covered so don't even worry about that um, so
So I feel like once you get out of that, like, oh, and the other thing is I got six of cups. So a lot of you are not releasing the past that you had with your divine masculine. And when I say release, I mean release the anger and the resentment, the pain associated with that connection. I'm not saying release your divine masculine. That's your choice. A lot of you are sick and frustrated and a lot of you have moved on. But regardless of you giving up on your twin, giving up on this connection, it's you still haven't released the, the pain associated with it. So that's not really moving on. You think, okay, I'm pulling my energy back, but there's still deep work that you haven't done. So you really in a sense, are fooling yourself into thinking that you have released them when you haven't, okay? So please ask, what is coming up now? Some of you are getting messages that are telling me and you are oblivious to it. And your work, and it has a lot to do with you working really hard. So you're working really hard on something, a work project or a work or a project, something like that they're telling me, and you're just pushing this whole connection to the side. I'm glad you all are focusing on something else besides waiting around, but they are telling me that there's still work to do, and that's... Releasing the past has to do with past anger, everybody. So, this was in reverse. So, what, what came through is that you're not releasing the past hurt and pain you had associated with it. Um, some of you are going through financial difficulties but there's something coming through there's an opportunity you all are not seeing this group that i'm talking about so please pay attention and um i just feel like a lot of you are going through like sleepless nights you all are stressed out um you're very emotional please pamper yourselves take a bath take a salt bath take a bubble bath whatever you like Take a walk. Get a massage. Do something for you. Yeah, too much is going on all at once. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, I feel like you guys are having trouble juggling everything. And balance is coming in but only if you take care of yourself um please take care of yourself you all need the energy to go through all these things um that are going on right now so there's a lot of changes and shifts and you all need the energy to do that to you know balance everything out so it's all about balance and um once you do that, you're going to come into your own. This is two of um, swords. I mean, sorry, wands. Okay. Divine masculines. Okay, divine masculine. What they're thinking. Divine masculines are totally... I'm like, this is the first card that came out. So they definitely want this for you. It's like you are their wishes come true. And they are 
This is the end of deception. So um, some of you, there is like a, this truth. I have been getting this for a while. It's one group of you that there was like something that the divine masculine was hiding from you. It's not something like really like, you know, shattering or whatever. Some aspect that they were hiding for you and that they want, they, here's the thing. So it's like, they want to come clean and tell you, you know, like this, like come towards you and say whatever that, but it's like, they don't want to deal with it. They're scared to deal with it. And a group of you still thinks it's unfair how things went down. I don't know how things went down, you know, in all of your, everybody's journey is different, but there is this feeling of them not thinking it's fair. I got the justice in reverse. And it has to do with communication. So whatever that was said between you to the last time you connected with them, whether through it be through like a phone call or text or in person, I feel like whatever you thought, how should I say it? They have a different perception of it. Than you do and I, I've been getting this a lot actually um, so and it could have to do with them being in their ego okay and they want to they want to come forward you know they want to offer their cup to you but they know it's like they are not in their power right now okay so they don't feel safe doing it. They don't feel safe right now. They feel rocky. They feel like, and it's because of the ego death they're going through. So some of them are still going through this major ego death, you guys. And that takes time. You know, you don't just like, it's not just one day like dark night. You know how people say dark night of the soul. It's not one dark night of the soul. And you're like, okay, the next morning you wake up and you're great. You feel great. So... Ego death takes time, and it takes a lot of energy. And so they want to come into their power fully. It's like they're, they want to come in running like they normally do. If you have a Demi masculine that's like really fast, like very, um, you know what I'm talking about. They want to come in and like totally talk about it you know, but they know what, they, they feel like they're on tippy toes, like they're on their tippy toes around you, like they feel like they have to approach you that way because um, some of you raised your voice, um, last time you were with Divine Masculine, or not, you don't have to be with them, it could be over the phone or whatever, that you raised your voice and, um, I said for some, I don't know who this relates to, um, they really, it really, they really took it hard that you raised your voice. Okay. So, they need to figure this out on their own and you just need to give them time they need to step in their power and I know some of you divine feminines are fixers like I was um and you want to like help them and heal like I mean on the physical okay in like 3d um you want to help them you know fix them up whatever this and that you know mend their wounds and you know help them out but you all know that that's not you can't do that what you could do is heal them on the astral plane in the ether so um they have to come into their power on their own yes you could help them like that but in the physical they need to do this on their own because that's how this union is going to merge everybody does their work on their own on the physical plane, okay? So, um, 
they just they don't feel safe yet to approach you so they're still you know they're still freaked out about it so but some of them like a large group have realized that you are meant to be together okay some of them don't even know what a twin is but they just know they're like I'm meant to be with this person okay and so regardless of divine masculine being scared to come towards you in the physical and not being in his you know full power obviously not stepping into their power and um, letting their ego you know their fears um, you know get a hold on them still they um, they're planning on how to make this happen so they're planning certain things in their lives so with like you I mean other things and you like how they're gonna incorporate all this and um, they just want to be happy with you they that's what I'm getting they just want to be happy with you like you are their happiness you make them feel like a kid a lot of them divine masculines did not have a good childhood so you would know um, and when they're with you, they feel like you, they relive the childhood that they wanted. You understand? So that missing void that they had during childhood, they live that with you. They have lived that with you. So, um, that's so cute. And... I got the judgment card. So some of them are still in um, like 3D mode, kind of like it has a lot to do with fear, changing their lives around. But, um, I'm gonna pull some. Okay, Divine Feminine. Oh my God, how is it? That is so strange. <gasps> Okay, miracles. This card was upright, and I don't know how that was. Like, I just shuffled it before I turned it on the video. So, some of you are going through such a rough time right now, and you are thinking, this is never going to work out to whatever it is. It could be your the merging of you two together. Yeah, that's coming up really strong. You and them being together. So, um, if you believe it, it will happen. If you think that the Divine Masculine is going to be stuck in his ego forever and you both are not going to merge, then it's not going to happen. So, your mind is so powerful. So, I know miracles do happen and they seem like miracles because... Of your disbelief but they do happen and so visualize or believe what however you do it um, whatever you want however you want it to you know be manifested and you can even use you know affirmations when it comes to your twin Ooh, okay so this is divine um, for divine masculine 
self-acceptance. This has to do with loving themselves and um, not judging themselves. So a lot of them are judging themselves about what happened. I mean, what they did to you. Um, whatever pain that they have caused you, they're judging themselves. So that's really keeping them away from um, coming towards you. So they need to first love themselves and deal with that because um, it's so much easy for easier for people to show their love and receive love when they have unconditional love for themselves okay you know and i'm talking about embracing both your dark sides and the light because it's all a part of you so um and when i say embrace i mean love I don't mean to take your dark side and run with it, okay? What I'm saying is everybody has a dark side and and the light side. So what's important is to bring out the light side of you. But there's nothing wrong with working on your dark side in the sense to know why it is what you're doing. So divine masculine, that's what they're going through. They're contemplating in their head, like, how do I, you know, because they're going through major ego death. How do I, like, break this part of me? And then at the same time, okay, so, like, it's, it could be, like, a pattern that they are releasing. So, it's, like, like, a way of being. So, they're, like, okay, I've been doing this for all my life. It's worked out for me. It's not working out for me now. I know that I, sh I need to release this because all I've been getting is blah, 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 you know, um, like not good stuff. And um, they don't know how to do that, though, in a sense where like it's kind of like killing a part of you, you know, and they don't I mean, most of them are not spiritual. So they don't know like what the ego is and whatever they don't even some of them don't even know what ego is. So. Um, they've heard of the word, but they don't, really don't know what it is. So it really is fear. It has a lot to do with pride too. Okay. Part of the ego, because when you kill a part of yourself, then you start blaming yourself, thinking that you are wrong to be that certain way all this time. So that has a lot to do with ego too. So it's hard to release that judgment you have upon you after you, you know, release that part of you. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you don't, please leave a comment because um, I am a Scorpio, so I'm the ruler of death. You know, like I know how to do it. I know how to kill myself a million times all over. And I know exactly the divine masculine, what they're going through with the ego death. Um, it's not easy. I'm telling you, it's not a walk in the park whatsoever. So um, that's what it is. It's like killing a part of you and then questioning, like, like being mad at yourself. Like, why was I like this so long? Or... Why did I have this belief that's been holding me back? Why did I do this to myself? Like, then you start blaming yourself. So it's like a blame game. Blame game. Blame game. Sorry. And um, that's what's happening. So that's what they're going through right now. And I'm going to pull up one more card for you guys. Divine Feminines watching. I'm sending you guys love. I know how unbalanced you feel. I feel it right now. Like, you all feel so unbalanced. You guys can't sleep. Um, and you feel very uh, conflicted. And you know the divine masculine does also. They're really moody. You, you both are moody towards each other. You all are feeling each other's 
um, feelings right now. So divine masculine is so conflicted. Like they feel conflict. They're like, they want to come towards you, but they're like, no, I can't uh, right now. How do I do this? And you at the same time are like thinking, one minute, hey, I want you. Why are you taking so long? And then another minute, you're like, forget them. Forget them. I'm going to do this on my own. Ooh, divine feminines. This is what I got. So, this has to do with the miracles. This is about taking your, obviously, divine uh, masculine is your soul. I mean, twin, which is a soul, kind of soulmate. So, but this is about taking your your union, your relationship, your connection to a higher level. So I'm being told, like, some of you are like, oh, this is never, yeah, that, that keeps coming up. This is not going to happen. Like, you can't imagine it even in your head. Well, they're telling me it is possible. It is definitely possible. And the only person holding you back from this is yourself because they are supporting they're doing the work behind the scenes and you need to do your part too you know and your part is healing yourself you can do work on your divine masculine in the ether and Love yourself. Pamper yourself. To whoever keeps saying, I'm ready, I'm ready, why isn't it happening? They want to just say, you are not ready. I just got that message. You think you are, but you're not. So, please ask. If you guys are confused about why it's not taking place yet, please ask. Because I do see communication coming in for some of you. Um, communication only for now um, because the divine masculines know also that they're not ready to see you on the physical so there is communication coming in like small talk how are you this that or like they they're scared to come towards you so they're like gonna text you like reminding you of something or asking you about something you like information like oh do you remember that you know I don't know coffee machine you bought where did you buy it for where did you buy it from just to like see how you feel about them you know they're gonna come in like that I, I know some of you guys think that's manipulated but I think it's cute they got to use some charm you guys so you know after all you all have been through together they got to use something so have compassion when they contact you and don't, you know, go into, you know, fear-based thoughts, okay? So believe. Believe and you shall receive. Believe in miracles, okay? Believe this is possible. Taking your, you know, connection to a whole, a higher level. That's the whole point of the Twin Flame connection, you guys. It's for both of you to shift to a higher consciousness together and then co-create. So remember that. And um, I think that's all for today. I wanted to thank you all for your support and love. And um, I am going to release um, the Divine Masculine Divine um, feminine um, energy soon with the whole diagram and everything um, so if you haven't subscribed do so and also um, I'm going to I'm going to start um, doing like a twin flame healing so 
I don't know how that's going to be set up yet, but I'm going to be offering that for my um, people who already get readings because I know like we have, we're in communication and I know exactly what you're going through and what you all need, what the blocks are to, you know, for the merge of, you know, you and your twin. So, okay, that's um, coming up one sort of thing. And then um, what else? If you haven't watched my ISIS channeling, please do so. Um, you know, she had some great, you know, messages. I was so excited. I'm so excited about that. So I love you all. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And I'm sending you positive healing vibes and blessings. And I'll see you next time. Bye.